So I got this second edition of this game while it was on a special sale, and I thought we would just do an unboxing and check it out. Now this game was not really on my radar until I saw it go on this sale, and it says it's a second edition, and I'll show you what made me more interested in it. I like engine building games, especially ones that are slightly easier to teach and learn. This one, right here, has a plastic dispenser. So it should be a much better than the original paper one that it came with that just did not want to work properly. These are the player boards where you hold your marbles and they seem nice and thick. Very thick. Nice. I like those. Just a token. It's still nice and thick. Good quality there. These seem to be just a tiny bit thicker than that even. Really nice. Okay. This looks like a shield. This is really thin, but it's just for decoration. Mouse that got away from the cat. Angry cat. Alright. So here's the base. We have a plastic base now. And the marbles are basically marble size, and they're some sort of plastic, not glass. They have a pretty decent feel to them. You have yellow, red, blue, and black, or gray, or smoke. Let's see what the card quality is like. And I'm sorry I haven't had videos in a while. I've been busy, been sick. Holidays, uh, the kids have gotten to where they don't care much about being in videos and it makes me not want to do as many videos because I'd rather just play the games with them when we have the chance. But I wanted to do a few. I figured this would be a good one. Let's see, these... Very thin. But, I mean, they do the job for what they need. And, let's see if it'll focus really well. The icons seem clear enough. Battery to two batteries. So, everything looks, looks good and clear. The player boards. I do like this. It is a flimsy plastic, but the way it's molded, when you stick it in the box, it seems to hold everything really well and hold up. It's more durable than it looks like when it's in here. So I like that. And the way this is made, and it has these little tabs, so as long as you are gentle with it, you should be able to easily take it apart, put it back together. I guess if you had to, you could always just put a piece of tape on it when you take it down and then put it back. But, let's see, we've got another bin here. Yeah, all the bins are pretty well marked, but they also make sense. It's it's the panels, the drawing of the windows. Oops, like that. There we go. So, just pick this corner here and put that there. And there are little pegs on the inside. If you can see that, little slots that'll hold this in. In fact, it is 
once you get it in there, you probably don't even have to worry about putting the little tabs in there if you were worried about it maybe wearing out the wearing out the holes and so yeah works great so like I said just wanted to show you this new uh, I don't think the original had this hard plastic base and I got this during a sale and I thought I would just show it off alright thanks